Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Diana. If you're new here, my name is Diana and I show you my life. I bring you along with me with my family outings, planning and you know like outfits and hair and all that good stuff. I used to be a makeup artist. I'm still kind of a makeup artist. I still kind of do people makeup but not like a lot. But yeah, like I just transitioned into like lifestyle. So here we are. Um, and I have to do a video for some content. So I said, let me just turn the camera on. This is going to be one of those raw and uncut videos where my mirror is to the side. Where, you know, I just do my makeup and I just, you know, tell you how I feel, my life update. Um, yeah, so my channel has definitely changed. Um, I, like I said, I still love makeup. I still love hair. Um, I was basically known, if you follow my channel, to, you know, do short hair videos. Not to, but do short hair videos. Like I said, everything is going to stay in here. There is no editing, no no cutting, no no nothing. It's just what you see is what you're going to get. But yeah, um, I was definitely into like hair and shortcuts. I still love my shortcuts. But, you know, I didn't want to be tied down to it. I didn't want to be shackled to it. And then, you know, I tried different stuff. I used to vlog, first of all, and then I got into the hair. The hair kind of took off. And, yeah, that's what I was known for, like, short hair and stuff like that. And, you know, I still get those messages like, girl, where is the hair content? I mean, I put up, like, my mullet. I put up the pixie and things like that. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. Like, I don't want to be bound to it. So, yeah, I mean... That's why I put life ass, because if I'm going to do my hair, I'm going to do my hair. If I'm going to vlog, I'm going to vlog, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, I have a content video to do, so we're just going to do the content. I'm not cutting nothing in here, so y'all going to see me stretching and getting everything. So, I'm just going to put some bronzer on my lid. I've been obsessed with doing that, but let's get into the life update. Um, I love the skin I'm in. It is so weird because I'm not saying I didn't love the skin I was in before, but I can sit here 10 toes down and say I love everything about me um, from my fitness journey, my weight loss journey, just to everything. Um, I saw a post and the post said, not a post. Yeah, I did say, a, I saw a post or did, child, I seen it on TikTok. I don't know if it was a post or not. But it was a, it was about um, Noah Lyles and his girlfriend. I didn't know his, I knew his girlfriend was Jamaican because I heard like people talking about it and like making posts about it. But I didn't really know like who she was, but I actually stumbled across her TikTok. I think her name is Junelle. And a lot of people were in the comments saying like, oh, she's always posting her man and her man never posted her. Now... That's a sensitive topic for me because I actually used to feel that way. Like, why isn't he posting me? But I got to remember that everything is not supposed to be posted. I'm going through another bronzer right now. Everything is not supposed to be posted. And I don't know. Was, did I want to be posted because I wanted to be posted? Or did I want to post for about me like a genuine post? Like, in my mind, I had to think about it. Like, you want him to post you just to post you? Or you want him to post you to say, like, this is my my lady. I love her. Like, I don't know. Like, it just took me back to that, that feeling. And in all honesty, your mate doesn't have to post you as long as in real life, he's posting you. If you get it, you get it. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not that serious. But I definitely understood what they were saying and where she coming from because she wants to post it maybe he don't want to post his personal life maybe you know he's okay with her posting him but he's not okay with posting her because maybe his fans or his demographic is different you know what I mean I'm loving this bronzer on the eyes it's eating me up so that's just how I feel. Like, and I never felt like I wasn't good enough. I never felt like, oh, I'm ugly. I never felt like he's he's hiding me. Cause he doing something. Like, you know, I never had that feeling. But I definitely do relate to what they're saying. Cause he wasn't posting me and I wanted to know why he posted me. But then I had to look at myself like, girl, why you want that man to post you? He lived with you. 
You guys have been together for 2,000 decades. Why do you want that man to post you? You know what I mean? And in all honesty, I didn't have a reason why I wanted to be posted. I just wanted to be posted. So, yeah. It's it's not all about who you post in and who's posting you. Like, he could post you all day and treat you like garbage. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be careful what you manifest and what you want and what you put out there. So, yeah. So, no cuts in the video. No cuts in the video. Okay, um... How my mental health, my mental health has, has been 100% better. I can honestly say, um, I just feel better. Like, I don't know, like it, it wasn't like a turning point in my life. It wasn't like something that, something bad that happened that made me want to change or felt like I needed to change. One day I just woke up and I said, no, a matter of fact, I filmed my... What video did I film? I filmed my, um, what I got from London Hall slash Collective Hall. And the face always going to eat. Thank God. The face always going to eat. But I remember looking back and editing the video. And I was like, Diana, why are you out of shape? And it, it's crazy because it's like nothing in my life had changed like baddie hair gonna be done, nails gonna be done, I'm always gonna look good, but I just looked at myself when I was editing that video, and I said, this ain't it, girl, it ain't it, so with that being said, I just started to, I can't even talk and do this, but I'm gonna try, I had to get myself together, there was no way that I was going to be that unhealthy, like, mm-mm, I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta, I gotta do this. Yeah, there was no way I had to stay in that element, that that mindset, that body. Like, I'm down 12 pounds. I did plateau. I ain't gonna sit here and lie. I did plateau, but I know I need to cut out sugar. But sugar is like, <sighs> I love sugar. I love sweets. I love candy. And it's not even that. It's I love juice. Juice, juice is like my my weakness. So, cause I cut out candy and I cut out like all of that, like Snickers and stuff like that. I just need to cut out juice. And I've been juicing, but I need juicing to be my main source if I want some juice. Like, I can't drink juice and then have a Snapple. Like, I can't juice and then, you know, have Snapple. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it can't it can't work. But we working on it, and I know what it is. And they say the first step is to know what it is, right? So, yeah. I cannot believe y'all got me out here talking. Well, y'all ain't got me out here doing nothing. I decided to do the video. What am I talking about? But, yeah, I always got to have wings. It's the days where I don't wear wings, but it is what it is. So, let me grab my fan. <laughs> you know how much times I done bent down and messed my liner up? But we can talk over this because I'm sure y'all can still hear me. Um... But yeah, just just knowing like your worth, like I always knew my worth and I always knew my self-worth. But it's like certain things do try to set you back. So like I said, like the whole posting, not posting, I don't know why it would bother me, but it would bother me. And it don't bother me no more, but it used to bother me. But I had to look in, into myself and say, why do I need people to know that that's my man? When I know that's my man, he know he my man. And we live together and you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I definitely had to, but this is years ago. I'm not talking about recent. This is like years ago. Like I went through that, but the post, like I said, just, you know, brought me back to it. So, yeah. So the skin is prepped out. So we're going to do a concealer powder routine. I never showed y'all this. This is my summer makeup routine. Because it's, it's hot. We did the bronzer on the eyes. But yeah. Um, What else did I want to talk to you guys about? Oh my God. Things that no one told me as a woman. Things that no one told me as a woman. One, self-worth. Your worth does not equate to your relationship. It does not equate to your job. Self-worth is from within. I didn't know that. I did not know that. 
I didn't I, like my upbringing. To be honest with you, growing up in a West Indian household, child, please, they just tell you just make sure that you go to school and get your education. Like nothing was broke down to me, broke down. Nothing was broken down to me as a child. It was just go to school, get your education. It wasn't go to school, get your education to make sure that you and your family's good, to make sure that you're good. Of course. It makes sense because that's what happens when you do take your education, like get your education and, and take it seriously. But it was never a sit down moment. It was never a teaching lesson. It was never a let me sit down and talk to my daughter, make sure that she is good. You know, what's going on with her? I honestly feel like I raised myself, to be honest with you. And I could have been down bad. If I kept doing what I wanted to do and, and just being out there, like I was honestly not going to school, running around just with my homegirls. It was just not a good look. I'm letting this concealer dry a little bit. But yeah, like credit, credit was never taught. Um, Just like, just go to school. That's all I heard. Like never was checked up on. Never was like, okay, well, what you got going on? Did you pass your test? What's going on in school? Like, there was never a touch base. It was just, I was out there doing what I wanted to do. I was home, but then I was outside doing what I wanted to do, running with my friends, not going to school, cutting school, going to night school, cutting night school. Why are you in night school, cutting night school? <sighs> my gosh. How you in night school, cutting night school? Night school mean you ain't cutting it, girl. But yeah, nobody told me that. Now, the next thing, relationships. Ciao. Nobody told me anything about a relationship. My mom and my dad, they're still together to this day. Um, But I was never shown a healthy relationship as far as, you know, interacting with males and interacting with men i'm gonna just keep it 100 percent. this is just a sit down talk through how i've been feeling lately and you know what i mean and it's just thank god that i have sense and i had sense just to not get myself in certain situations like it's just crazy but yeah as a female child they tell you make sure you know how to cook like you know that's basically what i was taught like you know you know how to cook okay cool you know how to clean? Okay, great. That was pretty much it. Like, not, okay, make sure that, you know, your feelings are valid validated. Make sure that you feel safe with the person. Like, nothing of that sort was instilled in me as a child. And it's crazy thinking back. Like, people are talking about they weren't taught to invest. Child, I wasn't in, I wasn't taught to invest in myself. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot. But, yeah. So, of course, I had to break that curse, and my daughter knows, and her worth, and how important, you know, school is, and I just want to make sure that she's good, and, you know, she's good for the future. So, this is concealer, y'all. I'm just taking it down a little bit, just a little bit, and that's pretty much the end of the makeup tutorial. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm just joking, but yeah, it, it's crazy, like, I don't know, like, being in a West Indian home, it's just, it's just different. It's just super different. But yeah, another thing that no one tells you as a female, make sure that you are happy. That is the number one thing. Make sure that you are happy in that relationship. It's not all about your spouse. Because I was taught to just make sure that, you know, your significant other is happy. And as long as he's happy, you're happy. And it doesn't matter if you're sacrificing yourself to make sure that that person is happy. I'm just setting. Yeah, so that's what I was. I, that's what I saw. I wasn't taught that, but that's what I saw. Like put your put you put them before you. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. That that's how it went. But that's how it went. Put yourself last and put him before you. Not it's a union. It's it's. A joint effort, you know, it's a joint project because it's a project. You got to make sure that that person feels good, you feel good. It's just crazy that I just was never taught 
to make sure that I'm happy. Because if I'm not happy, how my family going to be happy? Because they'll tell you, if I'm, I'm not in the mood, everybody out of the mood. Because I'm not talking, and I'm not making jokes, and I'm not messing with them, you know. So that's another thing I wasn't taught as a female, but it's okay, you know. Everybody know if you grew up in a what's in your home, you know, you can't look with too much, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it just brings me back full circle to know that that's not my mindset. I'm looking for my powder. That is not my mindset. So we do a straight powder on the face, straight powder. So we're gonna do the concealer, obviously. I have some marks, but I'm not really worried about that. Not at all. So we're just going to put this everywhere we need it to be. And I have multiple tones. Like, my chest is this way. My arms. My body got so tanned. Oh, please. And we're going to do a little powder on the forehead. But, yeah, it's just, like, it's, it's crazy. Like, I could have really been out here with, like, nine kids. Like, girl. And it's because I stopped it. But yeah, things that, you know, as a girl, you don't, you're not told. You're always told to put him first and stuff. And I'm talking about my generation. I don't, Gen Z's, my daughter's not with it. And I'm happy for her. I'm happy for them too, you know. Happy for them. I think I'm going to put a little powder on my nose. Yeah, just a little bit of powder. Hopefully, I don't look too crazy on camera. I'm just trying to blend it out, y'all, a little bit. But, yeah, I've been loving this powder routine. Because it looks like I tried and I didn't try. And it's hot. I'm going to always do go under my eyes, though. But, yeah, just knowing yourself worth. Like, I'm so comfortable in my own skin. And being comfortable in your own skin, I wasn't taught that either. It was just like... You had to look a certain way. You had to be a certain way. You had to be seen and not heard. It's just like your feelings were never validated. You know, I never felt like I could go to my parents and be like, oh, my God, I'm feeling like this. Oh, my God, this is happening. Like, I always fixed it on my own because I didn't have that outlet. And it's crazy because it's like now I just, I go, I see my parents. I call them, you know, and stuff like that. But to go and to see them, it's like reliving trauma. So, yeah, things I was not told as a female growing up. My feelings are validated. So, I try to, like I said, break generational curses. With my daughter, I think I'm going to bake under my eyes. No, I'm not going to bake. I'm not going to bake because we're not, we not doing that. But yeah, I just feel like I'm in a better headspace. Like, like maybe like... This is 2024. I feel like maybe I could say 2016, 2014, like them days. I was just like, okay, he's good. Okay, great. He's good. Okay, great. He's good. I had to switch that up. Like, he's still good, but I got to make sure I'm good. And if I'm not good, I have to be able to tell him I'm not good. And we are going to have to fix that, you know? So... But it was cool because I had to learn to ask for that myself. Like, I couldn't, he couldn't do that for me. I had to have the realization that, you know, I'm not good or I don't feel good or I don't like that. It took me a long time to get to that because I didn't have that. I will always fix things on my own. And I'm always, like, holding things to myself. And, like, if something's going on, I'll just figure it out myself. And he's right here, and he can help me, but it's just, I'm not used to that. I'm used to Diana figuring it out, and Diana getting it done. And that was me all the time. So, it's a good thing to always, like, be self-efficient and self-reliant, but if you have a partner, and you're doing that on your own, that's, it's a problem. So, I had to figure it out. And how did I fix that? Um, I realized that that was a problem. And I realized that if I don't like something, he's going to tell me. So why I can't tell him I don't like it. So I just started doing that. But yeah, it's just certain things that I was not taught as a child. It's crazy because I could never. Like the things that 
I would have done back in the day, like hold it in, not say anything. I, you ain't gonna catch that in 2024, Diana. Please. And then that's also a reason why I kind of scaled back with makeup. Because people think I, I got time to play. People think, you know, like, people think I got time to play around. I ain't got time to play around with y'all. The price is the price. And you can't handle the price and that's okay. But I'm not going to sit here and dumb down what I got going on. Because you don't want to pay my price. But you're going to go get your hair done. And you're going to go get your nails done. Makeup is just as important to your aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? But yes. And I always try to put my best foot forward, especially since I came to that realization. Nothing like traumatic happened to me for me to realize like, oh, I need to speak up. Oh, I need to let people know how I feel. Oh, I'm not going to take that. It was just, it, it gradually happened and I'm happy that it did happen. And that happened like 10, 10, 10 to 15 years ago. Um, and the knowing my worth came about 2018, you know what I mean? And I moved, I moved accordingly from there. But you got to always make sure that you're good. If you're not good, your family's not going to be good. So I had to definitely get that together. And yeah, we good. But my, yeah, these Gen Z's out here, they ain't with it. My daughter is not with it. She's not. Mm -mm. They had a fit about the uh, cater to you, Beyonce, be, um, Destiny Child. They had a fit. But I'm like, you could cater your, to your spouse as long as your spouse is catering to you. I don't see a problem. I feel like my nose is off a little bit. Ooh, it fell. Hold on, y'all. Because you know I got to get the dual content. You know, this can't be one little thing. You know, everybody. Hello, little girl. But yeah, I think we're going to do a little bit of blush. But skincare is key. Make sure you are hydrating. You're drinking that water. Just mentally good and whatever mentally good is to you that's what we're gonna go with this is so pretty i hope it's translating on camera okay and as far as the tone okay so we are done with that segment makeup let's get into makeup okay now i personally am neutral i'm neutral olive I can't find no neutral olive makeup. So no neutral olive makeup means my makeup is 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 cool tone. And I just been fighting. I've been mixing and matching. And then the summertime is not helping me because instead of my skin getting like tan that sucker it's, it's getting like even though it's this my arm and stuff are darker it's still neutral so i'm like i don't have yellow pigmentation which is fine but child but yeah as far as makeup is concerned i'm always gonna love makeup makeup is going to be one of my loves but you know if you got the number and you want to sit in my chair hook your girl up <laughs> But yeah, you can always do makeup and it doesn't have to be heavy. But yeah, forever love makeup. I forever will love short hair. Short hair has my heart. I'm thinking about doing like a little shortcut with my natural hair. I have not built up the courage yet to do that. But I will get there eventually. I will get there eventually, one one day at a time, sweet Jesus, like they say. Um, I don't know. I'm nothing's holding me back from doing short hair, but it's just, you know, like nothing's holding me back. I just, I don't know. Don't want a unit and keeping the pushing is like easy for me. That blush got away from me, but it's okay. You just blend out the edges. It got away from me, baby. Ooh, wee. Not on this side, just this side got away from me. Ooh, I have to say. Crazy. These Juvia's Place blushes are no freaking joke. <laughs> Okay. Why did I let out that? Yeah. I'm crazy. 
So, anywho, I know. Oh, and going live. I was going live, y'all. I was going live with the live makeup tutorials. But in all honesty, I don't know. I just stopped going live. I just feel like I have to get one of those capture cards. Not the capture cards. Yeah, like a capture link thing to connect to my ca my camera to my laptop. Yeah, camera to the laptop. Right? Yes. That's how it works. Camera to the laptop. Yeah. Yeah. I got to get one of those capture cards. Um, To be honest with you, the quality of the live was not up to par. Like, the makeup was makeuping, of course. But I'm just referring to, like, the quality that YouTube puts it. You know what I mean? I'm used to like my 4K or my 1080p. That was, I think, SD. It wasn't even HD. And yeah, no. I couldn't even like do anything with the footage after I went live. Like it would just have to stay on YouTube. So until I get a capture card, I'll have to stop the live tutorials. And I like the live tutorials because it's something like this. Like, you know, we're sitting down and we're just chit-chatting. And I'm letting you guys know, like, hey, my update. But, yeah, we the vlogs are coming. And, yeah, I don't really be doing much. And that's, I think, another thing, too. Like, if you don't do too much, like, what are you going to be vlogging? But I'm going to vlog for y'all, y'all. I try to vlog every time we go out. But then I also know that when winter hits, you know, the vlogs are still going to have to proceed. So I'm going to have to, my face is so pretty. Sorry. Yeah, I know that I once went to hit, and then my hands are darker than my body. It's just, like, it's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. But I'm going to try to figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, my skin, my face really doesn't tan like that. Well, I put sunblock. I don't put sunblock all over my body, which I have to stop. I have to start doing. But I'm already tan, y'all. I should have started once, like, the summer hit. So, my body is super dark, and then I only use suntan, suntan, sunblock on my face and my neck. Hence why, but everything else is, like, super dark, but y'all can see my tan. Wait, let me see. Can y'all see my tan? No, y'all can't see the tan. But in person, you can see that my body is tan. Super cute. But, yeah, um, what else? I told y'all about the self words and... You know, life changing, you know, makeup sometimes, <laughs> fitness, juicing, selfness, selfness, self, selfness, self care, knowing your self worth, <sighs> my trigger that, you know, the post triggered me, but we good. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Um, yeah. Oh, and the biggest takeaway I want you guys to, to take away. The biggest takeaway I want y'all to take away from the video. The biggest takeaway you should take from this video is if you're not okay and people around you are not seeing that you're, you're not okay, that's not okay. Okay? They should always want the best for you no matter what it looks like I love this fan I'm late to the fan game but it's fine one more time one more time and be careful with this liner this Sephora liner please baby she be jacking me up but yeah I wanted to do like a sit down no edit it's gonna be uncut raw just me and yeah. And I'm very um what would I call it? Let me let me think, y'all. Um I'm very I wouldn't say hard. A lot of people say because I'm a sad Sagittarius. So a lot of people say the Sagittarius is like we're mean, we're not mean, we're not mean, we're not mean. <laughs> Um, we just, 
We we know our work. Hey guys, the camera ran out of space. Well, the SD card anyway. So yes, um, uh, before I died, I said I wanted you guys to take away just from this video is knowing your self worth. It's okay to make mistakes. Putting yourself first is a must. You have to put yourself first. And then comes your family because if you are in shambles, everything is going to be in shambles. And that goes for everybody, not just women, just men in general. You know, just make sure that you're good so that everybody can be good. Because if I'm not okay, nobody's okay. But yeah, I just want you guys to know that, you know, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. On the new content, new vlogs is coming. I'm going to do my hair, short hair eventually. But I honestly don't want to be tied down to it, doing the short hair. I'm not going to put on lashes, even though I don't even need lashes. Because this is cute by itself. But I am going to do a lip with you guys. Yeah, I just don't want anyone to feel like, you know, overwhelmed or down. And if you feel like that, just try to reset. And yeah. This me is pretty. Hey, let's do this. Yeah, so the takeaways I want you guys to have from watching this video is one, put yourself first. It's okay to put yourself first. Kids, you know, husbands, boyfriends, school, sometimes it's okay to feel like you're not okay. <laughs> Trust me. And those around you, if they care for you like they say they do, it'll be okay if you, you know, want to take a time out. Because trust me. It's needed sometimes. But yeah, I like this little chit chat while I do my makeup. I'm showing you guys my summer routine. Because honestly, I do foundation. I definitely do foundation. Like if I'm going like out to eat in like long periods of time, I do foundation. But sometimes I don't want that. And if I'm going like out to eat or something super simple and quick, this is my summer makeup routine. This concealer and everything else is powder. So hopefully it's translating like it is in person. But yeah, my neighbors are always making noise, always slamming the door. I'm tired of that too. I'm trying to manifest a new living space because I'm tired. So manifestation, here we come. Because I'm not tired. But yeah, it's okay to say you're not okay. It's okay to put yourself first. It's okay to take a time out, a reset. And it's just okay to be you, you know? Let me get some. That's gold. I don't know if I will ever put gold gloss on. I just just one of those things I don't know if I could ever do but I do want to show you guys with my hair down gel but the video that I have to record my hair has to be back so and I gotta fix my baby hair so we could do the baby hairs together too why not Look at the ba look at the baby here. It I done flattened the baby here, y'all. It's super cute though. Do I should I even take it out? I don't even think I should take it out. I'ma just put it in a ponytail to the back. Cause my hair has to be out of my face. Super bad. But um yeah, so we could do hair together, but I'm actually not even gonna do my hair. But I'm definitely going to come back and show you guys what it looks like with my hair down and the makeup. Because you know that's what I always do. But thank you guys for tuning into the video. If you like videos like this where I just sit down and talk to you guys and let you know how I'm feeling and things like that. Comment down below more. And until my next sit down, chit chat, less reason video. I'll see you guys later.
Bye, guys. But I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end. So, as promised, let me stop playing. So, as promised, I came back with my hair down. The video I had to do, it wanted my hair back. But it's okay. You got to follow the rules. But this is my hair out. Oh, and I'm about to put my lashes on, too. But, yeah, I feel good. I'm in a good space. I've been praying a lot, just manifesting a whole lot. I don't talk about religion. Where's my lashes at? Hold on, y'all. Boop. I, I mean, hello? With, oh, okay. Excuse me, y'all. Ooh. I've been doing a lot of crying. You know, and I'm not... I mean, I'm... I don't want to talk about religion. And we're not talking about politics on my page. We're not doing that. I need a little mirror. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, um, I've just been praying and manifesting and um just just in a good headspace. I didn't put the lashes on before because I was gonna be out. I, I y'all gonna see the video. Y'all gonna see the video and, and know why I didn't put any lashes on. But I'm gonna put some lashes on today. And I'm super sensitive to latex. So, that black glue from MAC, I love it. I love it down. I've been using it, oh my goodness, for like eight years. I've been also MAC for 10 years. So, probably six years. Probably six years. And I can't use the glue anymore because it's not latex free. But I, I could have sworn the black one was latex free, though. I don't see anything on the, the, I don't see anything on here, but then this thing is like super, I gotta look into it, but I'm using my Kiss, it's a Kiss, right? No, it's the INV, I'm using the INV, but this is not a makeup tutorial, this is just me telling you my life. Um, I've just been manifesting a lot of things. I've been praying on a lot of things. Like I said, I'm not um, super religious. And I'm not going to talk about religion or politics on my page. Well, on my channel. And yeah, but, you know, just manifest. Believe in yourself. Even though I said bye and that I was going to come back and show you guys the finished look. This is a continuation of the video because it's just like that. Believe in yourself. Even if no one believes in you and they don't see what you see in yourself. Keep fighting every day. Um, it's times I don't want to get up and um, do anything. Um, I'm not depressed or anything. I don't have depression, but it's days where I feel down. And it's okay to feel down, but don't always dwell in it. Like, feel it. I'm a person who I feel in emotion. I feel in emotion. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the type of person I feel the emotions and I feel around me and I feel what I'm going through. Um, some people could block that out. Um... I go with my vibe, I go with my feelings 1,000%. But I would say it's okay to feel down. It's okay to be down. Don't dwell in it and don't stay in it. Right? So that's, that's a word. It's a word for today. You can always change what you have going on. Just believe in yourself. Um, it's not going to always be perfect. It's not going to always work out. But yeah. I just want you guys to know that just keep working, keep fighting, keep working, keep fighting. That's what I'm doing. I'm working every day towards my goals. And yeah, see how cute it is with the lash? The lash just brings it up all the time. Like it just, it just, it just like, I'm going to pick this out every time. I just feel like it's not, it's not on. Is it, it, testing, testing, one, two, three. Is, is this thing on? My skin looks so good. I did my makeup a little um, darker. I didn't do it to match my chest. I did it to match my body. I did it to match my body. Sorry, I'm sniffly. I'm fighting a sore throat. And my allergies are a million. And yeah. But this is my problem lash. This left one, <laughs> left one be, 
But I love that for me. Like, I could tell you guys, um, I'm going to show you the finished look and then come back and we're still talking. We still have things to talk about. I love that for me. I love that for everyone, you know. I love that for everyone. I just want to be an open book. As open as I can be, because, you know, how I go. Can't tell everybody everything. But, um, yeah, I feel good. I'm, I feel blessed. My family is great. Um, I can't complain. I feel really, really good. And I'm, I'm in a really good headspace with how my life is going. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to pivot. I wanted to pivot because I'm not editing. <laughs> I wanted to pivot my channel to reflect me. And I'm not saying that my channel before didn't reflect me. But the new me, it didn't reflect the new me. Like, I didn't want to always feel like I had to do short hair tutorials. And I always had to stay in that realm. And I always had to do makeup tutorials. Like, I didn't want, I don't want, and I didn't want to feel like that. You know? So, yeah. I just had to come back on. I actually do like, I don't have my, I do like it back. I, let me hold on, y'all. It's eating up. It's eaten too with my hair back. And it's okay, you know. It's things about me I still am working on, like my patience and being nice. And I'm working on all of that. I wish I had a bow, but I don't. I have it, but it's in the back. I had tied my hair up and it was super cute. Let me hide my arm fat because... That's one thing I don't like me, but my arm fat. Ooh, arm fat. Sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't like y'all. My arm fat be fattened, girl. Ooh. But yeah, let me wear it like this. The hair looks cute down, but it's just something about my hair up. That's going for ever eat like i want you to see me like i'm always wearing my hair down and that's okay but wearing it up like this it's super cute but yeah um like i said i was gonna show you guys with my hair down this is so cute i just really love this look and i don't highlight anymore but i'm about to highlight just a little bit like who is she just to highlight a little bit i don't highlight at all I don't know. They, I saw somebody on TikTok saying that highlighting is, is out, out of date. But I seen it and wanted to highlight. But I'm just rambling at this point. But like I said, I did want to come back and show you guys. You know, the lashes and my hair down. But I feel good and I'm in a good headspace. God is good. Um, and I'm going to continue to show you me and who I am. And yeah, the vlogs and stuff like that. I'm cleaning up if y'all here banging. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna continue to show you guys who I am through the vlogs and through everything. And like I said, winter time, we're, we're gonna be going out and about, but not like that. So, winter vlog is gonna be cool. Um, decorating vlogs. Oh my god, because I'm a big Christmas girl, but I'm getting ahead of myself because it's July 3rd and I'm talking about Christmas, but. I just wanted to come back on, like I said, and I'm going to go because I'm going to keep rambling, but I'll see you guys soon. So remember, guys, this is unedited, unfiltered. This is how I feel. No edits, no nothing. If you guys enjoy getting ready with me while I tell you how I feel and my mood and my headspace and what I got going on, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comments that you like these videos because I could do them more often. Okay? Especially if I have a topic. But I will see you guys in my next one, for real this time. For real this time. Bye, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Don't forget to like the video. Liking is very important. Like the video for your girl. And I will see you guys in my next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Doodle, doodle. Okay, bye.